Hi guys and welcome to the installation video for the Proxmark 3 RDV4 for Ubuntu. So first off what you want to do is head on over to the Ubuntu page where we will have a list of instructions for you. There are some setup scripts but what I'll be doing today is just going through the manual installation with you. So first off what we're going to do is we are going to do a sudo app get update. Now during this stage, if you need to upgrade any of your um, Ubuntu, it would be wise to do so um, before carrying on and continuing. Okay, next we need to go ahead and get the requirements. And then we're going to go and clone the fork from GitHub. And this will create a folder which you'll find if you look at your files just here. Once this is done, <clears throat> what we're going to do is change into the um, directory of Proxmark and we're going to do a git pull. Next thing to do is do the sudo make udev and that will take care of the blacklist rules for us. What I usually do is you'll need to log in and log out or restart the Ubuntu. Once you've restarted or you've logged in and logged out again, you'll need to enter the Proxmark 3 folder and then do a make clean and make all. And this will take a minute or two to do. So once that is done, we will then check the connection of the Proxmark. So during this step, what you want to do is connect your Proxmark to your system. We can check to see if it's connected to the system correctly by putting in this command here. And as you can see, it's come up with the Proxmark device. Next we're going to need to flash the boot ROM image and full image to the Proxmark itself. And that's that step complete. So there are some guidance with regards to um, what to do if you get any issues. But what we're going to do now is that we're going to change into the client folder as that has been done co correctly. And then we can either run the client by using this command or by using this one and pressing tab. Press tab, you should find it. And that will start up the client. So one of the commands you can use to test to see if it's working, all okay, hardware tune. And then that will bring up the um, antenna characteristics in a diagram form for you. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so if you get any problems, head on over to the uh, Proxmark forum. Google is your friend also. Um, and hope you have fun with your Proxmark. All right, thank you.